Hi there, I'm Chris Lonergan with Footbridge Media. Repeat business with an audience that already understands you and how your business operates can be a great way to earn consistent business over time. So let's talk about two keys to getting repeat business for contractors and home service providers. So the first key here is to have a plan. What are we talking about here? We're talking about twofold. We're having a marketing plan and we're talking about having maintenance plans. Maintenance plans are recurring preventative maintenance or sometimes called comfort club, just depending on your industry, different ways where you can get more consistent over time maintenance work from a client base. And this is a great way to get more business consistently over time. Now, who are maintenance plans for? Well, for basically any contractor who delivers maintenance service of any type, generally someone who doesn't do a, a one shot style service like a remodeler or a home builder. Uh, so for HVACs, that's the most popular. We're talking about seasonal tune-ups. Pressure washers also have seasonal cleaning for spring and fall cleaning. We have plumbers who can do basic inspections for fixtures, safety inspections for electricians. Obviously, land and, uh, lawn and landscapers have their own ongoing seasonal and ongoing growing season care. The key here is to make maintenance plans that are clear and concise and have terms that both you and your customer can understand so that there's no confusion, so everyone's on the same page. So why should customers care about maintenance plans? Well, generally speaking, maintenance plans on the customer's end means they're going to bundle some sort of service means they're going to save money in the long run. It also ultimately means peace of mind because even though most homeowners may not have a really in-depth understanding of their mechanical systems or their home care needs, almost everyone understands that a little bit of proactive preventive maintenance is cheaper in the long run compared to more expensive repairs and replacement. So those are the, the key reasons why someone should be interested and in why you should be able to sell a maintenance plan to your customer. You can also sweeten the pot. You can add specific discounts priority scheduling, uh, even waived service fees for folks who are part of your membership or your maintenance plan. So why should you care as a contractor? What are the benefits to you for a maintenance plan? Well, number one, you get steady recurring income. And when you do it right, you get it during the slower times. So for preventive work, you want to do that during the shoulder periods, during those preseason times. It helps to fill up your calendar more steadily throughout the year. So you've got a little bit less feast and famine when you're working properly with a maintenance plan. Also means you've got more access to add-on services. Now, we're not saying to... Uh, to be uh, underhanded and to try to recommend things that they don't need. But while you're there, while you've gained access to property, you can take a look around and you can make the appropriate suggestions for add-on services. And finally, it gets you great placement for larger future work. And if you're working with a customer every six months or every quarter, and you're there constantly providing small work for them, making sure their household is in order, you've got great top of mind awareness. People are already invested in working with you. You've got a history and possibly also incentivized by your maintenance plan you're going to be the one they call for any future need for that reason. So key two here is you've got to make the connection. When we're talking about sales and talking about making connections, it doesn't matter what you're selling, really. Usually the two key angles here are going to be logical and emotional appeal. So for logically driven customers, these are folks who are going to want more of the facts and the data. So they're going to be asking questions about product and service value. You know, what is the, what is the value of this maintenance to me now versus maybe not doing this maintenance plan and what are my risks later on? What guarantees do I have? You know, am I warranted some, some sort of better uh, energy efficiency or is there going to be a better benefit to me as a homeowner if I do this compared to not? If this is a good fit for my property and also timeliness is a factor there sometimes. Is this the right time for this plan? Is there a sense of urgency to do this to avert some sort of future problem? Now, we're not saying that you should go off and rattle off SEER ratings when you're talking to customers. This is just to get in that mindset of how you need to work with these customers that may be more logically driven, more of the if A, then B kind of customer. So if you've got someone who you understand maybe is a little bit more logical, you can explain to them that there could be energy savings, that could be money savings, it could extend the lifetime of equipment. Those are the sorts of appeals we're talking about here. The flip side of that coin is the emotionally driven customer. Overall, these types of customers are looking for peace of mind. Some of the emotions that kind of might play into this, fear is a big one. The fear of risking damage. Uh, maybe you're going to end up with more expensive repairs and replacements if you don't do this preventative care. You don't have a maintenance plan. You know, is this going to negatively impact my business or my family if I don't follow through with this plan? Am I not going to be able to spend money with my business or family in the way that I want to if I have to pay for an emergency replacement? We also have the pride and shame angle. We've got green and envy. Basically, we're talking about the keeping up with the Joneses type mentality, making sure that they're keeping up in their community and their standing. There's also the compassion angle. You know, it could be something as simple as uh, doing this kind of work helps you to go green, helps you to save energy, helps you to be a better citizen in the world, but also in your community. And again, talking about tact here, you don't want to walk up to a customer and say, well, you don't want the ugliest house on the block, do you? That doesn't really work either. Again, we're 
this is for insight. This is for trying to understand, putting yourself in a customer's shoes to better communicate with them and explain why your maintenance plan is a great idea for their home or for their business property. At the end of the day, we're talking about balance here. We're trying to decipher both halves of this conversation. You know, very rarely is someone only exclusively logical or emotional. It's about the balance. The easiest way you can find that balance, you can figure out how to best talk to your customer, is just to actively listen, to talk to them when you're on the site, and you can tailor your presentation that way as you go. Now, if you're missing out on repeat business opportunities via these types of maintenance plans, you're missing out on great opportunity for business expansion and growth. If you need a little bit of help maximizing your business, you can always turn to the pros here at Footbridge Media. Footbridge Media is contractor marketing that generates leads. With over 2,000 clients that trust us, over 155 star reviews, and for only starting at $249 per month, it makes sense to check out Footbridge Media to see what we could do to help you and your small business. If you've got more interest in contractor marketing tips and tricks, or if you'd like to learn more about how Footbridge Media can help you, check us out online at footbridgemedia.com.